My name's Austin. This is the Mopar Garage, and we build cool stuff in here. What's going on guys? Back on the second gen today, as you saw in the last video, uh, which I'll put a link to up here, uh, we did the uh, transmission mount in the second gen. I actually did, that was yesterday for me. It's probably been a week ago for you guys. Um, and now it's time for kind of part two of getting my daily driver back on the road. We're gonna do the fuel pump in it. Hopefully that takes care of the idle issue that we've been having for a year. Um, this truck, when you push the clutch in, when you come to a stop, it, it, the idle surge is really bad. Sometimes it'll actually die. Um, I've tried testing every sensor, replacing every vacuum line, haven't been able to figure this out. A subscriber told me it's probably the fuel pump. He had the exact same truck I did with the same symptoms. So hopefully he's right. The truck, for those of you who haven't been following along, is a 99 uh, Dodge 1500 4x4 with a 318 and an NV3500 manual transmission in it. One of my favorite trucks of all time. This one I saved from a junkyard. It was about to get junked. And I basically went through the whole thing mechanically. For those of you who didn't follow the build, I'll put a link up here to the build. Um, this thing is, is awesome. I mean, the body isn't perfect on it. Floorboards are a little bit tender in spots, but Mechanically, it is 100%, does not leak a drop of oil, runs awesome besides that idle issue. Um, but it's my daily driver. I have not been, <laughs> haven't had a daily driver for a month and a half. I've been driving my wife's Jeep uh, because my, my 2500 is always hooked up to something. It's always loaded with something. So uh, it's not just not practical to drive that. So got to get my daily back on the road finally. Um, and then if this fixes the issue, this fuel pump, we'll invest some money, put some wheels and tires on it, uh, put a cool, you know, a nice, a nice exhaust on it, and then this thing will be done, done. So uh, let's jump on this thing. I have done a fuel pump in one of these before. However, I was a true redneck. I was about 20 years old, probably. Just drilled a hole saw through the bed and replaced the fuel pump from the top. <laughs> We're not gonna do it this way uh, for this truck. We're gonna do it the right way. So let's hop underneath this thing and get going. All right, first thing I'm going to do on the driver's side of the truck is loosen up the uh, filler neck and the vent tube here. All right, that's nice and free. So is that. Awesome. All right. That's a good start. Jack stand under the front of this here, I think. Get this heat shield out of the way.
I'm gonna disconnect the battery and relieve fuel pressure. Probably should have thought to relieve fuel pressure earlier, but I didn't. So there is no fuel pressure, probably because this truck's been sitting for a month and a half, two months. So we're good there. Probably ought to disconnect the battery though, just in case there's some chance of a spark down there. Yeah, let's do that. That's probably for the best. You can see my custom battery box. She still ain't perfect, but I've gone through the whole truck mechanically. So there's a little odds and ends left to do, but let's disconnect the negative battery terminal. There. That should make it so we don't spark anything underneath and blow ourselves up. All right, we're really fighting a battle of this phone overheating. Um, we've got our fuel tank dropped pretty low to where we can get to our electrical and um, sending unit components up top. All right, fuel tank's out. Um, had some issues with the phone overheating, so I uh, wasn't really able to film me disconnecting the pump itself. Um, Got this guy disconnected, our electrical wiring disconnected. I did break, I think this is our return. I broke the end of this guy off, trying to get him disconnected. So I think I think that's a return. We may have to run to the parts store and grab one if our kit didn't come with one. So um, time to uh, get this cleaned up a little bit and then we're gonna open this case and, and see if it came with a new return line. Hopefully, if not, I'm sure somebody's got one. Comes with a new one. Comes with new everything. All right. Heck yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. There. Nice tight fit. Gasket looks good all around. Wonderful. All right, guys, my camera kept overheating, so uh, wasn't able to get a whole lot of footage of it going back together, but it wouldn't have been fun to watch. It was just me fighting fuel tank straps. The good news is all the uh, components that were on top of the new fuel pump, like the regulator and the vent and all that, all, and the electrical connection, everything hooked up good. So that's always a relief. I did, I need to buy new clamps. These clamps twisted going back on for the filler neck and for the, um, the uh, EVAT vent. So, um, everything is back together. Let's see if I can get a shot up here of the uh, pump itself. Everything's hooked back up. But uh, man, 100 and something degree heat index right now. Whew. Fighting fuel tank straps. You guys know how it is, it wasn't fun. Uh, so now, hook the battery back up, and uh, moment of truth. Jeez, I hope this thing is fixed. Here we go. <sighs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth. Is the infamous second gen idle issue finally resolved? Let's see. 
Hopefully this battery is good. So far so good. Let's bring her to the store and get some fuel in it. Okay, sounds good so far. Oh, it goes into first gear like butter. Let's see. Well, if nothing else, it's just fantastic. Okay, let's see. Normally, when I would push the clutch in and go to come to a stop, it, the idle would surge. Let's see. Oh. I don't know. Definitely seems a lot better. And we're coming up to the gas station, see what it does. Doing the same thing, boys. Still not resolved. Give her a little bump start there. Well, there it is, yeah. Same thing. Maybe it's a little better. I don't know. Let's put some fuel in it and see what it does. All right, pump shut off at 75 bucks. See what it gave me. Not too bad. Certainly better than my work truck. Oh man, that's butter. Whew. Clutch in, this is usually where it would surge right here. Oh, -ho -ho. a little bit of surging, but nothing like it was. It seems to be getting better and better. I don't know. I think we might have fixed it. The symptom is, for those of you who haven't been following, when you put your clutch and clutch in, come to a stop, it would surge. And it's not doing it. It did it at first, but hasn't since. And normally it'd be worse the higher RPM you are when you press the clutch in, it would be worse. So press the clutch in, see what it does. Perfect. I'll be damned. We might have gotten it. More stop here, let's see what it does. Heck yeah, that's beautiful. I think we got it. Like I said, the higher RPM it is when you press the clutch in to come to a stop, the more it would surge. So let's press the clutch in now. Coming into the driveway. No surging. Oh baby! Heck yeah! I think we got it. Oh boy, my driveway needs some work. Dude! Fire it back up. Sometimes it would idle real rough when you refire it. Man, I think we got it.
Heck yeah. Well, that's gonna wrap this one up, guys. I think we finally got it. Uh, when we first took off to get fuel, it was still doing the symptom a little bit. It was still surging and uh, I was pretty disappointed. But by the time I got to McDonald's and got home, it's like it readjusted to the new pump or, or something. And uh, symptom seems to be gone. It's running better than it ever has. So um, I think the saga of the second gen idle issue may finally be over. So that is awesome. I'm gonna drive it again tonight. Um, I'm, I got a, about a 20 minute drive tonight. I'm gonna go see some friends, but uh, if it runs good through that trip, I'll uh, I'll say we've we've got it figured out. So that is pretty awesome. I'm pumped. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We are trying to get monetized this year, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.